For those who don't know, Asahi Linux is a project to run Linux natively on Apple Silicon Macs. At the moment it lacks GPU drivers, which means all graphics content is rendered straight on the CPU, which predictably leads to poor performance. But it is worth keeping in mind that Apple Silicon is extremely powerful. So I wanted to see just how much graphics performance I could squeeze out of this poor little CPU. In order to do that, I'm going to run some games on my M1 iMac through Asahi Linux right now on the Linux Lounge. Before we get into any games though, let's talk specifications. I'm running these games on an M1 iMac with 16GB of RAM, and that's the version with two fans instead of one. This machine probably represents the best possible performance that can be attained from an M1 device, other than perhaps a Mac Mini. I decided to run these tests on Arch Linux with the GNOME desktop. I maybe could have gotten better performance with a lighter desktop, but I like GNOME, that's what I have installed on my system, so that's what I'm going to use. It's also worth pointing out that I set all of these games to run at the lowest possible settings at 1080p, except for Super Tux Cart, which wouldn't let me set it to 1080p, so I had to run it at 720p. Also, I had to run all of these games in a window, because Asahi Linux doesn't seem to like running games in full screen mode at non-native resolutions, which is something that I found on my Pinebook Pro as well, interestingly enough. First, I decided to try a simple 2D game, Super Tux, one of my personal favourites. It's not unplayable here on the M1, but it's fairly slow. Honestly, I expected better for such a simple game, even if everything is running without GPU drivers, especially given the fairly impressive results I got later on in this video. I guess it must just be something about this game. But, if you absolutely have to play some Super Tux, this would probably be playable, but why you would, I don't know. Next, I decided to try a 3D game. For that, I went with Neverput, since I couldn't get Neverball to work. Neverput seemed to work pretty well. I could tell that it wasn't running at 60fps, but given the fact that this is just a golf game, you don't really need 60fps. This game actually is pretty good, and if I absolutely had to game on Asahi for whatever reason, I'd probably start here. The frame rate is more than enjoyable, and the gameplay is really enjoyable too. Definitely recommended. Next, I decided to try out Mind Test. It seems that this game is just like Minecraft in that it's largely CPU bound. As such, it seemed to work fine here on Asahi. I could definitely comfortably play this game, and I've got to say, it's a blast to play. Also, as a side note, Mindtest world rendering has actually gotten pretty good since the last time I played it. I'm glad that I can appreciate it here on Asahi. Finally, I decided to try out Super Tux Cart. Now, I know I've already done a dedicated video about running this game on Asahi, but I decided that it deserves a spot here too. Now, this game does run slowly on Asahi Linux, even at 720p lowest settings, but you do have to keep in mind that this is running completely on the CPU. The fact that Apple Silicon can run a 3D indie game using just the CPU is pretty wild, and it really does speak for how powerful Apple Silicon is. But with that said though, those are all the games we have time for today. Now, would I game on Asahi Linux? Obviously not not even with lightweight games. I would obviously wait for GPU drivers before I start trying to game on Asahi Linux. However, the fact that you can game and all without GPU drivers is seriously impressive. And once even basic GPU drivers come along, Asahi Linux is going to be more than fine for my limited gaming appetite. But with that said, that's it for my dumb little experiment. I hope you enjoyed it, I thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one.